Hello everyone, this is Legendary China. Um, I had a few issues with the next video and I somehow lost it, so I'm just going to give a quick synopsis before this one starts on what happened. Um, I finally got Badoo to evolve. It took until level freaking 32 to actually do it, but hey, Rosilia, happy now. At least now Badoo is a little bit more useful even though he really was. Um, then got through uh, to Hearthome City where we just where I just explored a few places. I didn't really do much. I went to the contest, met my mother and got the tuxedo and things like that, which you really are not going to see much more. And now I went and did some off-level cameraing up, as you're about to see. So in this episode, we will continue and you will hear my voice say once again. So sorry for the inconvenience, but let the nose like challenge commence. Not really anything has changed. I won't learn any new moves, but I can just see everyone is higher. And since I figured, hey, we're going to a ghost gym, why not have Kazooie go out and Francis is a normal type? And I would send out Ting as well. The only issue is Ting's a ghost, and ghost is strong against ghosts, so yay. Um, anyway, um, before I actually go face Fantina, to the right of the Pokemon fan club is a condominium, which I actually forgot to do in the last episode because I was running short on time. And I believe he talked to this girl right here. Uh, no, not you, actually. There is some girl, maybe it's you? Huh. Well, one of these people in this house, in this condominium, will actually give you an item once you talk to them. I just need to find the person. Well, probably it's up in the next floor of the elevator. I like the little elevator sequence. It's it's kind of nice. It's kind of subtle. It doesn't really do much. Um, okay, yep. Yes, if you talk to this lady, she'll give you the shell bell. Which, what the shell bell does is a Pokemon holds it. And every time they do damage to a Pokemon, uh, they gain that much experience. So to give Rosie a more of an oomph for now, I'm actually going to give her the Shell Bell. So whenever she uses Mega Drain, not only will she heal her own HP, but she will also heal... Ah, uh, that is not the right bo box. I'm still not used to this because I'm still used to black and white's uh, storage system. Is it here? Where the heck is it? It must be right here. It's got to be. Yeah, it's gotta be. Um, alright. So, yeah, whenever Rosie uses Mega Drain, not only will it heal some of her HP from the attack, but it'll also heal, uh, thanks to the Shell Bell, and I'll just keep that on her whenever I actually want to use her. But, on that note, it is time, with my team fully healed and everything else, to go to that next gym and see what we can do. Now, I should be able to beat Fantina in this episode, but you never know. The I've had horrible, horrible luck with things recently, so I don't know if I'll actually be able to. Well, no, I'll be able to, but... Alright, so we have Hearthstone City Book Fantina, the alluring, soulful dancer. Because she's also in Pokemon Contest, Do Anyway? Hey there, how's it going, Enchant to be? This gym is some kind of wicked. What's wicked about it? I'll tell you, first, it's pitch black. Oh, no worries, though. I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there's the usual gym trainers. They have flashlights, too. If you cast a light on one, or they catch you in the light, the battle's on. Okay, now this is really important. It's about the tiles on the floor. First, find one blue tile in the room and memorize the mark on it. Next, head for the red door with the same mark on it. Advance to the correct red door to reach a gym leader. If you choose the wrong da door, you'll be sent back through here. That's how this place works. Go get him, Chant to be. So yes, just like our little friend told us, uh, just like our little friend told us in the beginning, we will have flashlights, and there's going to be six trainers here. So we should just go ahead and fight each of them as we see them. But as long as uh, the two flashlights meet, you have to fight. Now this is kind of a puzzle thing. As long as you find the blue tile, you can get to the next area very easily. And like I said, this is a ghost gym, so you're mainly going to find ghost Pokemon here. So what I recommend is either bring out a normal type. That has like, ooh, sucker punch, interesting. Ah, uh, that has um stuff besides normal type moves, and just use that Pokemon to kill them. Or if you have any Pokemon with dark type moves, that will work as well. But if you have Ghost or Psychic, do not send them here, or else you're going to be in a lot of trouble because a lot of these Pokemon do have Ghost type attacks. I mean, I can deal with Sucker Punch. That's a fighting type, which. Surprisingly, well not surprisingly, it would make sense that Ghastly could learn something like that. Even though Ghastly doesn't have fists, I would, it'd make more sense maybe when Haunt, Hauntra came into play, but that's not important. Um, well I guess it's a ghost Pokemon, it can technically form, uh, fists if it wanted to, but that's besides the point. Alright, that Drift Loon is gone and this first battle is done. 
Wow, this is actually, I've realized this is the second gym that Kazooie's gonna mainly be out for the most part. So that's kind of funny. Okay, let's talk, let's get you into the fray. No, you did not scare me. How, why would you think you'd scare me? Either way, each room should have two trainers in it up until Fantina. Ooh, mischievous. Uh, it's exactly why I have Kazooie out, because any ghost type attacks will not affect Kazooie, and Intimidate really won't have too much effect on the ghost Pokemon unless they use physical attacks, which most of them actually don't, so... Yay for win wing attack being, like, amazing. And Mischievous can learn such a diverse set of moves, it surprises the heck out of me. Psy Beam, anything like that, so it's really a good thing that I don't have Rotom out here, or... Anything, anything besides Kazooie at that matter. That's alright, Kazooie's gonna get a lot of experience leveled up. Who knows, maybe I'll even be lucky enough for Kazooie to actually, like, evolve in this gym, but I highly doubt I'll get to that point. Okay. Um. I'm gonna have to restock again after this. I mean, my super potions will hold out for quite a while, so I'm not too worried about that. Might even put a ether, ether, however you want to call it on them. Alright, so you see the blue tile here. That blue tile shows that we need to find... The red door that has a square, which in this case, it's the middle door, not there. Come on, trainer, let me through. Move to the left. Move to the left! Thank you. And with that, we go to where the square is, and that'll bring us to the next area. Which then, we have to fight two more trainers, which each room gets a little bit bigger. So you, you're going to probably end up running into more trainers that way, but that's not a huge, huge deal. And besides, fighting trainers in these gyms is always a good thing because you need the experience. And with Kazooie being level 27s now, stronger than Fantina's Pokemon, which will, excuse me, help me out quite a bit. Ooh, X Defend. That could potentially cause me a little bit of trouble, or not, because Ghastly apparently has horrible, horrible defense, which I actually did not know about, but... Yeah, I guess it makes sense since Gengar's a, a special attacker, so. Cool. Yeah. Go, Kazooie! You are being awesome with your little hair, do, feather thing, whatever you want to call it. Their way. Um, oh, there's actually three trainers in here. That's cool. Oh. Or four! Actually, the actually I guess there's only two rooms. Uh, the first one's small, the second one's bigger, which contains the four trainers, and there's only six in this gym anyway, so... Haunter! Haunt, haunt! I always loved the ghost Pokemon back when I originally counted them in red and blue. I always made sure I tried to get a Haunter. I didn't really have many people that I played with, so I really never got to see the awesomeness of a Gengar until, I think, Gold Silver, when I actually started being able to play with other people. Uh, yeah, that's not happening, uh, let me see, that's Psychic, I don't want to send you out, you know what, why doesn't Rosie come out, just so I can show a little bit of Shell Bell, and I just don't like Confuse Ray, especially with stuff like that, and honestly, Rosie's powerful enough that, uh, I'm on such my higher level that Mega Drain's pretty much gonna hurt anything, even if it, even if that Haunter is a ghost type. So, uh, it's that should have. Yep, that took out the haunter. Good. Yeah, yeah, but you guys actually get to see what what Rosalia looks like, even though you've seen me fight them before. Mischievous. Eh. That could potentially pose a problem, so. Because if I know that Mischievous, it has Psy Beam, so it looks like Kazooie's gonna take care of the rest of this. And. We'll lower the attack, which has no effect on Mischievous, but it cause because Mischievous. Oh, really? Again with a freaking confused race. This is the one thing I hate about Ghost Pokemon. 99% of them actually know Confuse Ray, which makes it really tough to hit them. But hopefully, uh, Kazooie can just get through two wing attacks, because that's probably all I'll need. Really, Spite? Ugh. I hate Spite. Uh, what Spite does is it reduces the uh, PP of the last move used by, I think, uh, I guess by four here. It might alter the numbers for it, but I'm not 100% sure. By the way, it can be really aggravating, especially when I'm trying to do this kind of gym like this, where I can only really rely on one Pokemon and one move. And typically, I don't like doing this, but at this point... Well, really, I can get through with the others if I absolutely wanted to. But, I, I, I think, especially focusing on Kazooie, since 90% of the moves that they probably have will not work on Kazooie, thanks to him being a normal type... 
Yeah, really, especially for this ghost gym, normal types are your friends. I was originally thinking of bringing, uh, uh, Shocker back in and raising him to, like, good levels. Especially since Shocker knows Bite. But then I decided, uh, uh, that I would go, well, of course you know, freaking Super Potion, that I would go this path instead and just have Kazooie take care of most of this gym because, yeah, Kazooie's a normal. Well, Kazooie is part normal flying, and that works. It's always been interesting to me how all of the main flying Pokemon have always been normal and flying and just like, like pure flying. I don't even think Taylor was a pure flying type. I think it was normal. Not sure. I've never really just seen, at least like with the main birds from each of the games, them being a pure type. And again, what I mean by pure type is uh, just pure flying and not have the normal thing there. I guess birds can be considered, like, normal, as I did that in quotation marks, but you guys can't see that because I'm recording. Oh, Aftermath! That's deadly. Yeah, as you see, Aftermath, after you kill something, it does a good amount of damage to the Pokemon. Aerial Ace, nice. Uh, Aerial Ace is a really good move. What it does is, um, it's a move that never misses, which is really nice, and I'm going to get rid of Tackle for it. Um, which also make, means that I have both Wing Attack and Aerial Ace in Kazooie's arsenal of moves. Uh, it has 60 Strength, and it does. Uh, and pretty much, no matter what happens, uh, that Pokemon will always hit it. So if it has like Minimize, Double Team, stuff like that, or if you've been sadly, al well, not sadly aligned, but if you had stuff happen to you. What, what I mean, you know, like, sand attack, anything that lowers accuracy, anything like that. Actually, that should be all the trainers now, too. Um, but yeah, any of those moves will not matter because Aerial Ace always hits since it has, like, over 100% uh, percent accuracy. Well, I don't know if it's over 100%, but either way, you guys will get to see the lovely animation of Aerial Ace, which is actually pretty cool. It's just a, we, it's just a slight, woo! Because the, the bird is supposed to move so fast that he just slices whatever the enemy is in half. And honestly, that's going to be pretty much enough to take out whoever this trainer has. Another ghastly. Okay, whatever. Just aerial ace it to death like I did with the other one. Actually, because that's on level 22, it might not fully take it out. Or I could be wrong because Kazooie is just playing epic right now and doing, like, amazing. Uh, by the way, I know I lost Geno like a few episodes before, but I believe that it's going to be either Ting or Kazooie are going to become like the mascot Pokemon for this run. And what I mean by mascot is like the main Pokemon who I raise the highest. I haven't really decided because Kazooie's just been doing plain awesome and Ting is such a rare Pokemon that I'd love to use him anyway no matter what. So I haven't really decided, but that's just, that's just a little side story for whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's actually all the trainers in this gym, which is nice. Uh, and as we saw, that little blue spot was over here, which in this case, we're looking for the moon symbol. If we pick any other, any other, other, uh, other of these symbols, then we will actually get moved back to the first room and have to start over. And with that, we have reached Fantina. So, um... Am I going to need any ethers? Probably not. I should be okay. <laughs> Kazooie's healed whole, full, I believe. Yep. So, you know what? Let's try this. Ho, ho, ho! Finally, you have arrived! Since I came to this country, oh, always I try to learn new things. They hold contests in the city. I say to myself, Hey, Finn, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Sister performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. And, uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, none. And with that, we fight the third gym leader, Platinum, and the fifth gym leader in Diamond and Pearl, Fantina. Now, Fantina has three Pokemon. Uh, these are going to be slightly different than what you've seen, uh, that if you're playing Diamond and Pearl, but first Pokemon's a Duskull, which, uh, all of these besides... Uh, a Hunter that she also has. Well, her three Pokemon are Duskull, Hunter, and Miss Magius, which are all very good Pokemon and very scary Pokemon at the same time, but Kazooie should be fast enough and now powerful enough thanks to most of the gym to be able to... Oh, not Will-O-Wisp, please. God damn it. 
I hate being burned. Um, let's take care of that now, because that's the last thing I need is, uh, is, uh, Kazooie being burned, because what burn does is lower attack by half, and I really don't need, um, Kazooie being like, yeah. Okay, Future Sight. What that does is a few turns later, uh, I'll be attacked by a pretty powerful, I think it's Psychic or something like that. By the way, that'll level up Kazooie. <laughs> Yay for being 29, because he was catching up very quickly to Rosie. A haunter. We've seen plenty of haunters before. Uh, yeah, so let's just take out this haunter, probably with two swipes like we've been doing. Ha! And I take the future sight hit, which shouldn't do too, no, nah, that didn't do too bad, so. I figured you'd use a super potion on haunter, which is why I use a wing attack. Mainly if you're fighting gym leaders, your rival, or anything like that. Uh, they're gonna most likely use a move, a healing item if their Pokemon gets in the red before it can actually kill them. So expect to use a... I, I shouldn't say, yeah, pretty much a waste move just to make sure that you actually get them. And Miss Magius, this is Evolve Form of Mischievous, and it's actually really, really freaking scary. So... Uh, and very fast, and I don't know how much that side beam is gonna do, but I might be scared. Um, <laughs> I'm a little scared. Uh, let's see how much Aerial Ace does. She's gonna heal him, but I'm gonna be on the safe side and heal Kazooie. Because honestly, this is the Pokemon that I was most worried about. Because Miss Magius has very, very powerful special attack, and you don't know how much I wish I had a Dark type with me, so. Pretty much all of the moves that Miss Magus would have would do barely anything to me. That is exactly why I used a uh, Super Potion. Uh, how much will that do? Uh, I could probably take another hit. And knowing a gym leader, she's gonna... Uh, what does it have? Has a Citrus Berry. Never give up, never surrender! I love that line. Um, it's, I'm gonna be safe and use a super potion, but... Um, I've heard that line referenced a lot with, like, a lot of, uh, friend things and other games. I just... It, it's just... Um... Or, I shouldn't... It, it, or stuff similar to that. Like, I just recently got, uh, Star Fox for the... Well, not recently, I've had it for a while. Star Fox for the 3DS. And when they're just saying stuff like, Never give up, trust your instincts, especially when you're just about dead, that always is like, He's a squee to me. Well, not really squee, but either way, that should be enough to take out Miss Magius. Yes, we have beaten this gym leader with no casualties, and Kazooie's like, Hurting badly. That's okay. You are still fantastically strong. I now know why I've lost to you. And with that, we have gotten our third badge. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. And with that, we get the Relic Badge, which is our third badge. And yay, we're almost halfway done. That badge will let you use the hidden move to fog outside of battle. And she also gives you TM65, which is Shadow Claw. Uh, a very startling move it is. It hits turn... It, it, it hits turn critical often. Pretty much, Shadow Claw is a really good uh, ghost type move. Just like Fantina said, um, it can. Uh, it's a move that has a very high critical hit ratio. It also has 70 damage, which is quite some oomph. Except none of my Pokemon can learn that, which is kind of. I, I, which I didn't think they could, because none of them technically have claws, so. Let's see if she says anything else before we leave. Uh. Three gym badges, but you must not forget this. There are many other trainers. Strong trainers, too. There are, there are many more in Sinnoh. Have patience. You must become stronger, one at a time. And with that, we have beaten Fantina and got our third badge. We are on a roll here. Um, alright. So, there's a few more things that we can do now that we've beaten Fantina within here. But first, must go to Santa to heal... Pokemon Center, where art thou? I must live! Anyway. Alright. Um. So, after we beat Fantina. Yeah, 
Yeah, I might as well show off one little area since I have one little minute. I might not be able to get in there anyway. But if you go to, I believe it's south, maybe? No. Actually, if you guys go up here, you go to somewhere known as Hemity Square, which is kind of a optional area. I don't believe we'll be able to enter here. Or maybe I won't need to. But if you have one of the, uh, what's called a cute Pokemon, uh, you can use Turtwig, Grottle, Torterra, Chimcharm, Inferno, Inferde, Pipla, Primpop, and Polium, Pikachu, Clefairy, Psyduck, Pachirisu, Happening, Buneri, and Drifloon. If you have one of those Pokemon, you can go through the square. I'll do some of my own, like at a later time. And within this square, you can pick up a couple of items. Uh, you can take a stroll with that Pokemon and uh, get accessories that are found in there. There's a couple of good items in there, which I'm going to grab. As soon as I'm done with this recording, because honestly, I'm going to take... Shh, I'm going to take print Plop out of the dead box so I can go in there and collect whatever items in there. But there's a few couple of good items in there. I'd recommend going in there, even at least once. So, yeah. Um, on the next episode of Pokemon Platinum, we will continue our journey and actually head to the east side of town, where we will continue on our adventure and get to Route 209 to get towards Celestian Town and... No, it's not too far before we get to the fourth gym. So, until next time, guys, this is Legendary China. Yeah, I can't even talk right now. Legendary China, signing off.